welcome students in this class we would be learning how to calculate compound interest now the idea of compound interest is as follows now you walk into a bank and you deposit a certain sum of money it can be five thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars now once you deposit that money you cannot take the money back for that stipulated number of years. So, for example, you are depositing this much, this much amount of money for three years, then you cannot withdraw that money before the completion of three years. If you do so, then you will lose the interest. So, the money is locked for that particular um, uh, number of years, say three years or five years or ten years. Now, during that time, the bank will make use of the funds that you have deposited and it will generate income. Now, out of the income that has been generated, made from your funds, the bank will give you a percentage. So that percentage is what is called as interest. And the specific term is compound interest. Now, compound interest is actually acts in a different manner. Now, how does it act in a different manner? Once the interest is calculated and added to the amount, the principal now gets reset. Now, you would have deposited $50,000 and that $50,000 would have earned you, say, $3,000 interest. So now, the total principal that you have with the bank is 50000 plus 3000 interest, that is 53000 And the interest would be calculated for that 53000 US dollars, or whatever dollars, you, uh, whichever currency you are investing, either US dollars or, or Guyanese dollars, or um, depends on your, because many countries follow dollar denomination. So, the, this is the idea. So, to handle this idea, we need a formula. So, I will, I, I will actually give you the formula. And now you can use, you can see the word here, compounded yearly. So, there are two differentiations for this. It can either be compounded early, yearly, or it would also be compounded monthly. Now, monthly means the money will skyrocket. The interest that you'll be getting at the end of the year would, would be skyrocketing because every month the principal that you have invested in the bank gets augmented it gets increased so that's a different way altogether so that's the reason uh, you cannot get loans from lo uh, loan sharks right because that interest is actually compounded every month so it's a very dangerous thing to go and get money from loan sharks but from the banks you can go and get because they will have a uh, a set reasonable level of interest. So, having mentioned that, let me just uh, give you the formula. To calculate the investment after three years, the annual compound interest formula will be used. This is the interest formula will be used. Now, what is given here, A is the future value of the investment to be calculated. P is the initial value of investment, R is the rate of interest. So I will use the word interest for better understanding. So 10% is compounded annually and number of times it is compounded. So since it is uh, compounded annually, M is going to be equal to 1 and T for the number of years for which the investment is made, so it's locked, okay, the terminology is locked in the bank, so you can't take take it out, so that would be for three years, for this particular question. So the question is, Mr. Elon makes an initial investment of $5,000 and he places it in the fixed amount, uh, fixed deposit for three years, find the value of the investment after three years if the investment earns a return of 10% compounded early. So, as I mentioned to you, that early is the key word. Yeah, right? So, so that is the most crucial word. So, let me start off with including the library. So, include, I will stream, and then I need to include the math file, and then... I will say using namespace std and after that int main and 
and I will declare the variable float p okay and we have got r r and m m is number of uh, times so what I will do is I will just change this m to n because number uh, that that sounds more better n sounds more better than m so number of times it is compounded annually so p this is going to be n r that's fine and uh, t is the number of years for which the investment is fixed time right and then the amount amount that we get okay so this is the variable declaration so now the principle has to be given so of course uh, we can also send it externally i will also show you that and uh, n is equal to 1 right number of times it is compounded early r is the interest r is 10 percent interest so in this case 10 percentage you will have to place it like this 0 0.10 that's the way in which we will have to evaluate for compound interest so i've got p i've got n i've got r time time is for three years so now i need to calculate the formula so amount is equal to the formula is principal p into 1 plus r divided by n okay and see you will have to raise it here you will have to raise it to the power of n into t so how do we do it so we do it in this following fashion so what do we have to do here we will have to go just before the parenthesis and use the function pow okay power of this and then what are you calculating the power of so n multiplied with t n multiplied with t so this is what you are calculating i will exactly show you the result what happens so over here i will just uh, declare it c out this is a compound interest calculating EPP okay and we have calculated the amount and we will give the output so C out the amount Okay, and that is the program. So we will have to run it to see the output. So let's save it and build and run it. So T, okay, time. So this should be. Okay. I'll change it to T because we are using T. So save it and then you build it. Okay, everything looks fine. Okay, that value is absolutely correct. But the only thing is that the principal here is $5,000. And then if I were to build it and run it, and clearly it is $6,655. The amount at the end of the fixed deposit term, so you will have to change that spelling deposit. 
Okay, so that is the solution, right? Now, what if you were to you were to give the values? How are you going to give the values? So what we can do is uh, we can we can take this all off. We can comment these all 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 of this. So I'm going to show you how exactly we can get the input. Okay. So C out. So in this case, please enter enter the principal. Okay. You are asking the person to give the principal. So the principal would be entered. And we need to get it from C in. And that's going to be P. And, and C out. Please enter the interest rate. So that is going to be obtained using R, right? Now, if the person is just entering ten percentage, I will I will convert that. Okay, I will show you. I'll show you how to how to make that conversion. So next, C out. Please enter. Enter the compounded number of times the interest is compounded. So that's the way. Please enter the number of times the interest is compounded. Right? So that means is it compounded every month or every two months or every year? I will show you the difference. What happens? So this one is going to be n. So I've got p, I've got r, I've got n, and next one is c out. Please enter the fixed term. So they will have to give the number of years for which the money cannot be withdrawn okay and that would be t so i've got all this but we cannot directly go and uh, make the convert make the input here because the rate of interest has to be calculated so r1 is equal to r divided by 100 and I will have to declare that R1 here. So that R1 is declared, that's fine. So here we will have to place that R1, right? And that would be fine, and that's it. We have got nothing else to change. So I save this, so let me just save it, and I build and I run it. Okay, semicolon. After placing the semicolon, we build and we run it. Please enter the principal. So I'm entering $5,000. Please enter the rate of interest. So 10 percentage is the rate of interest. Please enter the number of times it's compounded yearly. So one, please enter the fixed term for which the money cannot be withdrawn. Money cannot be withdrawn for three years. The amount at the end of the fixed deposit term is 6655. This is exactly what we got. Okay, so now, what if the amount is compounded every month? Okay, I'm going to show you that. Watch here. If it is compounded every month, means the n, please enter the number of times the interest is compounded. Okay, so that one is going to be 12 in this case. So I am building it for the same amount please enter five thousand dollars is the amount the rate of interest is uh, ten percent it is compounded twelve times a year 
the fixed enter the fixed term for which the money cannot be withdrawn so for so 3 month uh, 3 years it cannot be withdrawn so the amount at the end of the fixed deposit so there is a change here you see that now this app will work for any input say you you want to change it say suppose your investment is is $50,000 okay $50,000 instead of 5000 and the rate of interest is 10 percent the number of times it is compounded say let us say it takes compounded every year it cannot be withdrawn for 10 years 10 years you cannot touch that amount you see that you are getting you're getting 50,000 and at the end of 10 years you're getting 129,687 so this is for 10 years so after 10 years even though you take away the devaluation the depreciation value of the money still after 10 years this is uh, quite a sum $129,000 is quite a sum so you don't even have to if you are investing really big you don't have to even work thank you students I hope you enjoyed this class and until we meet again